let's go into the towing section and talk about setting up your trailer. So here I've set up a profile for your trailer already. We're gonna take a closer look at that. Awesome. Now you can see we've given the trailer a name, so it's easily identifiable. We have the trailer type, which is conventional, and we have settings for our brake type, our brake effort, and our brake gain. Hmm. And so on this, am I able to add different trailers if I have multiple? That's correct. Think of it like a quick way to access those trailers and their settings. So all you need to do is hook up, plug in, and drive away. That's really convenient. Yeah, absolutely. Are there any other features on here? There are. In fact, one of my favorites is back here on the towing page, and it's our connection checklist. The connection checklist is great because it allows us to make sure that every single step that we need to accomplish before we can tow has been taken care of. We're going to start by selecting our trailer type. Today, it's a conventional trailer. And we're going to go step by step, just reviewing the pieces that we've already done. Okay, see, I was concerned because I thought that I would have to memorize every single step, but it's good to know that this is here for me as a reminder. Absolutely, yeah, think of it as your double check. Just a good way to remember all those pieces you need to accomplish. Nice, should we run through the steps? Absolutely. So first things first, of course, we need to connect the lock ball and coupler. Remember that little tab that mm -hmm. couples onto our hitch itself? Next, we need to make all of our electrical connections. And this would be the seven pin connector? Absolutely. Next, we're going to cross and connect our safety chains, creating that- Basket. Correct. And we're going to connect that emergency breakaway switch. Got it. Now, this is a cool feature. We need to ensure that all of our lamps on our trailer work properly before we pull away. Now, I could step out of the vehicle and tell you what I'm seeing from the back, but we're gonna ask the F-150 to help us with that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna activate our trailer light check by pressing this button here. And over the next several seconds, we're gonna see the left-hand turn signal, the right-hand turn signal, the brake lights, and in some cases, the reverse lamps. Animate on your instrumentation cluster to let us know that those lights should be turning on on the trailer. Once I press start here, you're gonna see your turn signal start to turn on. Oh, I see, wow. Now it's gonna make this cycle of those pieces five times, which will allow us enough time to jump out of the vehicle, go to the back of the trailer, and make sure we're seeing the correct lights illuminate. Wow, so that's really helpful to make sure that everything is matching up. That's correct. Nice. Should we hop out and take a look? Yeah, let's check it. Okay. So these are gonna go off five times, right? That's correct. So we're gonna see the left and right hand blinker, the brake lights, and even the reverse light go off a cycle of five times. Okay, we've seen this go through its cycle at least once. Why don't we head back to the F-150 and we're gonna talk more about some towing features. All right, let's do it. 